What's up, people? Top Cat here. Sorry for a little delay. Um, just doing a quick overview of a knife I just got today. It's the uh, Predium from Ferrum Forge. Um, if you don't know who he is, you probably won't be watching this video anyway, but just in case you stumble upon this, um, check him out. He's at uh, ferrumforge.com, I believe, and he usually makes full custom knives and uh, literally full custom. He'll design, you could send him a design, you could tell him you want something like this, and he'll pretty much make you, to the best of his ability, whatever, you know, you want. So, one of the only guys I know out there doing that, as far, you know, most custom knives are like, I make this handle, but I'll do these options, this option, this option, and I can do a little bit different on the blade for you, but it's basically the same knife, and he'll do whatever you want. But anyway, that's my little rant about Elliot. He's a super cool dude. If you're any interest, email him or whatever, he will get back to you. It's usually within, you know, a day, maybe two. Uh, you could try to call him, but he, you know, that's off and on. Uh, I have talked to him before. He's an awesome guy. He's a little bit of a weirdo and a freak, but no, I'm just playing. He's a super cool dude, but, uh, and uh, if you can't talk to him, he'll, you know, he'll talk to you as much, you know. He talked to me for a while, you know, good knife conversation, good guy. So, anyway, to the knife. I've been waiting for this for a while, and it did not disappoint. It's a super cool knife. Um, I bought this as, like, something nicer to carry and use because I think I mean that's what he designed it for to have you know a nice what he called mid-tech knife that's going to be a great user and I definitely think it's going to be that and uh, so far the grip on this thing I mean the it is super comfortable in the hand and even better I mean the choke up on the choil and the I mean it's awesome it feels great in the hand it definitely feels better than you know most of the other knives with choils I had you know striders it definitely feels better. I got one there, right there. Is a SNG. It definitely feels better in the hand than the SNG, in my opinion. You know, teach their own. But, and I'm not comparing the two to start some comparison war. But it's right around the same size as the Strider SNG, uh, and it is thicker. The tie on the handles is thicker, and the blade stalks thicker. So it's a uh, actually a pretty beefy knife, but it doesn't really it doesn't feel you know massive or anything like that. To, but the blade, he stonewashed the lower portion. The flats are satin. Uh, the spine, actually, I didn't know this, but was is stonewashed, and it kind of has a rocky pattern. I'm gonna sorry for the wiggling around. See if I can zoom in a little better on that. And I can't because I suck at making videos. I'm doing this on the cell phone, so give me a break. And I don't do a ton of videos, but uh, you know. I'll eventually hopefully get better if not I'll just stop doing them because I suck but uh, same thing with the back of the uh, handles it's also got kind of a rocky texture to it uh, what there you go it's not like deep or anything like that it's more like a texture more so than a pattern and there you go finally focus the spines the same way for some of you guys that pre-ordered that's what the uh, logo looks like pretty cool uh, the flipping action on this thing is Great. Flies open. No, straight up and down, same thing. It'll fly open. Um, I will say it's definitely more of the push flip. It's not really the light switch. You can get it the light switch, but you kind of got to use it. You know, let's see, there you go. You got to use, catch it the right way, and it'll work. But it's definitely, this is definitely a preferred method on this one, and it flies open. So, uh, full tie, frame lock. Steel lock bar insert, um, lock bar stabilizer, LMAX. So that's that. Um, I'm not going to get too much more into it than that, but it's an awesome knife. Feels great in the hand. If you're waiting for one, you won't be disappointed. It definitely feels like it's, like I said, it's going to be a great user knife. I mean, it feels awesome in the hand. There's absolutely no play to this thing at all. No blade play in any direction. I would try to wiggle around, but like I said, I'm doing this on a camera, so I have to have one, or a phone, so I have to have one hand on it, so. Sorry about that, but uh, someone on Instagram did ask me how does it stack up to this knife, so I'll go over this real quick. This is a custom. This is not. I like Elliot. I like supporting a small time, you know, knife maker, but this is a custom. You can feel it's a custom. It definitely feels better. Um, and my reasoning why, just the aesthetics of this thing alone, I think are better. I can't stand the black hardware on here. I obviously took it off the pocket clip, and the handles, you know, um, I like it. I mean, it's, it's okay. Definitely for a production knife, and I won't take away from this knife. If you're thinking about getting one of these two, 
is it is an awesome production knife and the flipping action on this is better than any production flipper I ever had it's definitely better than even the southern so I'll at least say that um, but this definitely feels better in the hand uh, the ch I like having the choil and it definitely feels more comfortable like this uh, the flipping action I will be totally honest this flips a little harder there's no doubt I mean you can light switch that and you don't even have to do it hard it'll pop open or you can press it in so I will give the flipping action you know I'll give that to the ZT overall look and feel of the knife definitely love the Pretium more and like I said it just feels better in the hand I prefer the stone wash over to like the bead blasted finish on the handles if you get if you're sweating at all this thing feel does feel super slick so um, that's that I said before I think I did a video on this already and it's up but uh that it's not super slick I've used it now more since I made this video and it definitely feels slicker in the hand and even now just doing this I can feel a little more than this so this definitely feels better in the hand and I like the overall look just the subtle things like the stone wash on the spine polish or the satin and then the stone wash again I think it looks awesome uh, he killed it in my eyes and for what this thing is to me it's going to be you know pretty much you know something I carry around and use so it's definitely going to get used and I'm definitely uh, enjoying it so far so if you like it and you haven't got one you know check out Blade HQ some supposed to be he's supposed to be sending like 30 I think to them it'll probably be a little while still he's still working on them so I think he sent maybe the first 10 out so yep check it out it's an awesome knife uh, if you can't get in on this and you know you like it uh, give Elliot shoot him an email or whatever get on his books for a custom sure they're a little bit more expensive than this but uh I'm on the books and I can't wait to get that now even more so that I see just the quality of this that uh something he's calling a mid-tech which I don't even think it is but anyway that's that I'm out